Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. We're now going to discuss ruku. So, according to Maliki, you see the takbir as you go down for ruku. Hanbali say raising hands before going down into ruku. According to Abu Hanifa, there is no raising of hands but moving down as pronouncing the takbir. The optimal way is to raise one's hand according to Shafi and saying Allahu Akbar and then beginning to raise your hands. So as you are saying the statement, you begin to raise your hands and you start um, to do the movement and raise your hands from uh, placing them from the Qiyam position to now raising them to shoulder level and then bowing. So raising hands saying Allahu Akbar when <coughs> having read Surah Fatiha or after Surah Fatiha. <coughs> the Prophet raised hands with the opening takbir. He raised them before the takbir, so before going to bowing. He then raised his hands when coming from bowing, but he did not raise his hands in between prostrations. So here, there's another hadith from Mudas from Bukhari. This is Sahih Muslim. Okay, he would raise his ha <coughs> hands until they were level with his shoulders. Then he would say takbir when he wanted to move to bow. He then, when he rose from bowing, he did that, which means raising of the hands, raising of the hands in takbir. But he did not do that when he lifted his head from prostration. Okay, so he did not do that when lifting his head from prostration. <clears throat> According to Malki, putting the hands on the knee is recommended that the back be straight, however not obligatory, spreading of the fingers and not lifting or tilting the head. <clears throat> According to Hanbali school of thought, placing their hands on knees and spreading fingers out, stretching back and keeping the head level, saying the tasbih three times. According to Abu Hanifa, placing hands on knees and spreading the fingers out, keeping the back straight and not raising the head upwards or lowering it, saying the tasbih three times. According to Shafi opinion, one will put his hands on his knee fingers apart stretching the fingers with the back and neck extended legs straight and elbows out though according to shafi the women keep them close by tasbih is said three times if alone and here's the tasbih <clears throat> subhana rabbi yala azim okay so make sure you say the dha a lot of people say the not the it's dha azim <clears throat> placed hands on knees according to Bukhari the Prophet bowed and kept his back straight when he bowed he neither kept his head up nor lowered it but it was somewhere between the two he did not prostrate until he stood up straight place hands on knees okay keep the back straight do not tilt the head so this is how you do recall so <clears throat> placing the hands on knees okay and keeping the back straight which a lot of the imams say this is exactly how you're supposed to be bowing again you got a checklist for rakus so if you want to do a workshop you're working with somebody or even it's great to do with children we have a children's salah course available on our website you could run a salah course after this for children which is basic level it doesn't go into the thick and but they have a checklist okay so holding the knees with fingers spread out according to the um opinions of the imams and then keeping the back straight keeping head level no dropping of the head no raising of the um head either okay uh, <clears throat> there is um i think it's uh, that you do collapse your knees you collapse hold of your knees and you can spread your fingers is in hadith on that which i haven't included the smear we will inshallah do the smear in the next video